Sorry, I'm here. Can we get everybody's attention real quick? Well, I just. Good morning, welcome to the show. We're going to have some continued conversation from social media. You want to watch it? Sure. But let me go ahead and gauge how much people know. What's the Twitter? Sorry. <laughs> this is my friend Chris. She's never caught it really. Um, no, seriously. Uh, is, is everybody here familiar with, with Twitter, at least to some regard as to what it is? Um, okay. <laughs> I do not use the phrase. Um, not wrong. How about Facebook? Yes, I can get it. Okay. Um, and get glue. Okay. Um, yes. I'm, I'm very involved in Facebook. Okay. I'm trying to begin to integrate Twitter into it, and I, I, I don't know the best, how do you use the two, what's the best way to integrate them, those types of Okay, um, well it depends on what you're looking to do with it. On Facebook I have events pages, I have business pages, I have personal pages, that they're all linked, mm -hmm. and they work great. Okay. There's no doubt about it, they work great. Do you have a Twitter account already? Yeah, but I don't know what to do with it yet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I, wanna, and I know there's stuff to do, I just have to. Well, you can connect the two of them so that anything that you update through your Facebook page should okay. automatically go to Twitter. Well. If it's a little, if it's as, as long as it's under 140 characters. Right. Right. That's. Yeah. yeah that's that's the critical point. Right. Well, this yeah has to be an open account. A locked account will not post. Twitter can posting to Facebook or posting from Facebook to Twitter. It won't. Twitter won't post to Facebook if it's locked. Right. You have to have yeah, that. We're, we're, we're talking about. Yeah. Talking posting oh, from Facebook. Oh, wait, I don't think maybe not. You can you can do it if you have like Twitter. I can't. Set, and if I put okay. like the Facebook and Twitter update on tweet, right. right. There's there's the key answer in there is you okay. have to have a social media client. It's it's a program that you can use to combine all of them together and that will do it. Otherwise, um, you can tweet a link. And you can tweet the link to your Facebook. To your Facebook page, which is very powerful. So if you have I, I can have events yeah, so on Facebook. Exactly. So if you have fire event, out on just, Twitter and boom. Yeah. There you go. So you'd be so that was probably terrific. the easiest way to do that. I would say my friends. I have like eight hundred friends mm -hmm. on Facebook. Is there any way I can <laughs> Anyway, I don't know what the word is. To sort of transfer, transfer them. Not transfer this. Well, well you know what I'm talking of, about. Is there any way I can send them? You want to include them all? Yeah. And not yeah. everybody that's on Facebook is going to be on Twitter, necessarily. Because um, I know that I have Twitter friends, I have Facebook friends, and I have Twitter and Facebook friends. And it's a different group of people depending on what they use and what they feel comfortable with. Mm. So I'm not necessarily sure that everybody that, you're, that follows you on Facebook is going to be able to perhaps follow you on Twitter. But you can share an update from Facebook and say, hey, I'm now on Twitter. If you are, hit me up at, and then your Twitter name. Or and that will find the that start to push people toward your Twitter. So your Facebook friends who are on Twitter will see that and go, oh, I'm going to add him on my Twitter feed. So I could, let's say I'm posting on Facebook, mm -hmm. just what you're saying. I go, oh, by the way, I'm now on Twitter. Here's my name. Mm -hmm. And you can also... May I look at your feed for a second? Mm -hmm. You can also find um, a lot of my Facebook friends who are on Twitter are doing this increasingly, and it's they're posting from Twitter to Facebook. And so as you scroll through and you look and you see, okay, this was where they tweeted or posted from via mobile. Is there one that's there? Yeah, there's one. Okay, so Eric Williams, who is funky down on Twitter, it says right. Yeah, this right here. It uh, says right there. This little bird right there tells you that right, right. he tweeted that. He posted post that from Twitter. So he can go right there. Right, so that yeah. so that shares his Twitter name. So you, with your Twitter account, can say, "Oh, I'm friends with him. I will add him on my Twitter." So you can see his name right there. Thank you. Sometimes it's a yellow bird. Did he show us? Yeah, the other one was. It depends on the mm -hmm. Twitter line that you're using. He uses actual Twitter. So if you go to Twitter.com, that's what he's using is Twitter. Mm -hmm. The other ones are using an actual program that combines everything differently. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's what the different icons are for. We want to hear from you. Well, what do you want to hear from us? <laughs> that's, that's, I guess, the easiest way that, that we can look. I don't know. Well, something goofy. Somebody, somebody tags my picture on Facebook, and I don't okay. like it. So I remove the tag, which is mm -hmm. quite easy. I'm having the hardest time removing the picture, though. 
You can remove someone else's picture. It's, yeah, you can just remove the tag. Do it, huh? You can send them an email and say, "Man, yeah, I hate that which picture." Is so you can't ask, but, which I've had to do, but yeah, you're not allowed. That would be like if, if I had my pictures up. You can't go and delete one of my photos. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, okay. Yeah. You know, I, I that is, you know, just in that same line. Yeah. If if your picture, if somebody posts a picture of you on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Does every single person like that you like and they like and everybody else like see that picture? That's what we were kind of discussing briefly in the in the one-on-one session. Is that it depends on the settings that you have. It depends on the settings that they have. If they post the picture, it's more specifically based on on their settings. But you do have some control over it to the extent that when you get that email notification that says you've been tagged, you get that Facebook notification right. that says you've been tagged. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can go in and you can set who can see it. You At can least do that. Or how do you do that with your friends only? With your friends only uh, is, is uh -huh. what the, and that's where, where the thing is. So I mean, it ultimately if it comes down to that you're afraid of who's going to be seeing that picture. Um, you can always just untag that. Would probably be the easiest way to. That's easy to yeah. solve it. Yeah. Um, and then if you wanted to post the picture from your own account, you know, like say say that it was a picture from the pod camp meet and greet last night. You know, you, you see the picture, but you don't want. To have it just out there, and when you, you check the settings on Twitch, she's just got it open, and everybody everybody can see from from your friend's account. You can ask to you know, can, can you go ahead and not have me in that, but I'll post it from my account where I can have specific stuff. I won't tag you in my picture, so that way you're not getting my stuff, but I'll tag myself in my picture, type of thing. Wow, you have to communicate that too. Well, it would be her. it would be suggested. I mean, otherwise. <laughs> She's just going to have the notification that you've not accepted that tag, that you've untagged the photo. So if I untag it, that means that then nobody can see it. Nobody, they can still see the picture. They can still see the picture. They just don't know it's you. You're, you're not attached to that photo. And once you untag that photo, and you can't be tagged again right. unless you tag yourself. Yeah. Right. So then you have, like I said, that, that decision making process as to who sees it. Let's see. So, and I can't find it now. The Facebook privacy settings used to have this really nice feature, but now they're mixing everything up again. Where you could click on a button and see how somebody else views your profile. So you could type in a friend's name and see, well, what comes up when my friend looks at my profile? Or what comes up when someone who is not my friend looks at my profile? Yeah, so that way it gives you a nice... Facebook has an option where all the friends can see your stuff, right? Yeah, and that's the, be that's the best way to, to set your settings is so you yeah. can set it Friends only can see it, which means that you have to actually be friends with that person, or you can see it. <laughs> I felt like I was in the way because I had it pulled up to the uh, how to set the, that setting. Or you can set it that um, friends and acquaintances can see it. So you know, if friends of friends can see it, that pretty much means everybody and brothers can be able to see that picture of you. Um, for the Facebook page for um, PodCamp, we generally leave the, the settings open for the most part on any pictures that are taken. Which is another one of the reasons why during the keynote, Norm's big thing was the type of event that we're doing here, your picture may come up on a Facebook page. If we know who you are, we'll, we may tag the picture. Um, if we don't know who you are, but one of your friends sees the picture, they may tag you. So it's one of those things that if you don't want to be tagged and affiliated with that picture, you should only say you just, only on the same. Yeah, you, you just need to be aware of it as far as that's concerned. Mm -hmm. I just want to, we've been talking about Facebook, <coughs> the third one is LinkedIn. Yes. And can you say some things about that? Because it seems like if people are, are in all this, they'll have the three icons. LinkedIn, LinkedIn is more of mm -hmm. a professional Facebook, for, for all intents and purposes. Um, my handy dandy little system is going to pull it up for us here. Um, it breaks down information, and instead of making the connections based on friends' connections, it makes the connections based on business connections. So you have to enter in, you, you can enter, you don't have to, but you can enter in your educational information. So I graduated from Teal College. What they'll do is they will give me a searchable information based on anybody who graduated from Teal College, and then they will look at the years that I attended and suggest maybe you know this person. Mm -hmm. And then that way, if I do know that person, I can then connect to them. Uh, as far as my work is concerned, it's kind of like an online resume to the extent that I put in the company that I worked for. 
and it, it can use past companies as well as current companies. And oh, we've, that people, we've got Boulder right there. People wow. you may know. The people you may know. Um, do you know them? I do not actually know them. <laughs> <laughs> the nice thing is if you don't know them, you can hit that little X on the right hand side and it'll give you someone new that you might know. Yeah. It's kind of a game. The other nice thing is that if I'm looking at this going... So it's doing an automatic search for you, is that... Yes. Wow. Based, and it's based on the people that I already know. Um, so uh, we're going uh -huh. to look at this Rachel Gogos. I might know Rachel. How do I know her? So I'll go ahead and I'll pull up her information. And it pulls up the information here and it tells me where she's working where she's worked, her education background, uh, what recommendations she has. So it's helping you to search your files? It is, it's, it's um, telling me. Now, this is telling me, this right here is what I'm just looking business. for. It's telling me over here, Chris Brogan, who actually created podcasts. Um, Chris Brogan is my connection to her. Mm. I'm connected to Chris Brogan because of podcast, obviously. He knows, he's connected to Rachel Bogos, and that's why LinkedIn is telling me that I might know her. He didn't do it Wow. No, she's, no, no. She's this, is, this is solely... He's a, exactly, and he's on the front line. And that's why when I scroll down how you're connected to Rachel, that's why I pulled down there, is because I don't know, I don't know what information LinkedIn is pulling to get that information as to why I it's, it's doing that behind the scenes. Yeah. It's, just it's doing automatically resume, doing that based on who I am and what information search. I've gotten there. And, and the more the more connections you get, it cross references them. Say you went to college at Pitt and you worked with X. Yes. X went to college at, right. at Y, but you know this person who went to Pitt. So maybe you can to see how you know somebody. Exactly. Yeah. I'll I'll yeah. kind of go through here once every couple of months or so and just be like, who do I know? Like usually I try to do it, especially at the pod camp, because I know so many new people here. That it's like, okay, I'm gonna connect. I want to connect to all these people that I've met. And again. If I connect with Barb, sorry, if I connect with Barb, Barb's connections are then going to be available to me as a connection. Um, the other nice thing about LinkedIn is that I can't just automatically connect to one of Barb's friends just willy nilly because I want to because oh she has pretty hair you know whatever. I actually have to get an invitation. I have to know this person, and I have to be able to provide like, their their personal email address as a verification that I know them. Or I have to request a an introduction. Barb has to then introduce me through LinkedIn to this person. So it's not like Facebook where you can just go and only go through and pick people. Nope. Okay. They're a little bit more guarded on it. And again, it's one of those situations where in the business aspect, they want to make sure that if I'm saying that I worked with you on a project, that I actually worked with you on a project. And that if you know Chris worked with you on a different project, but I didn't work with Chris on that project. I can't then in turn say that I worked with Chris on the project because I actually worked with you on the other project. So it's just kind of one of those nice little safety features. And it's, it's a safety feature too for people who are job hunting. I want to get a job at Google. Well, Missy has a friend who works at Google. Instead of being like, hey, Missy, can you introduce us? I just want to send a message to CEO of Google. That's not going to happen. But if I get Missy to make the connection, mm -hmm. and if she's willing to do that, then I'm able to communicate with <clears> this person at Google. Chris, if you bring me some cookies, I might connect to this person at Google. You <laughs> 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 make way better cookies than I do. So yeah, I mean, it's just one of those nice things. Yeah. Okay. Let's go uh, another direction. But um, let's say you had a Facebook account, a Twitter account for yourself, mm -hmm. and you had one for your business. Yes. Now, let's say down the road, you rebrand your business. Mm -hmm. Um, so you just go back in and change profiles? You can change you can or, change your settings. So I mean if you have let's say your name went from XYZ to one, two, three. We just did this at work. We just did this at work. You just did this at work. I work at the World Affairs Council of Pittsburgh. Um, and we recently changed our email addresses, our website. It used to be worldaffairspittsburgh.org, which took forever to type out, by the way. My email address was christina at worldaffairspittsburgh.org. Nobody ever wanted to email me. Mm -hmm. um, so we changed it just to worldpittsburgh.org. But our Twitter account was mm -hmm. worldaffairspdh. Our Facebook account was worldaffairspdh. And we wanted to keep it all consistent. And it really depends on what you're looking at. Um, Twitter was very easy. I looked to see if World Pittsburgh was available. It wasn't, but I contacted the organization that had it and they gave it to me. Um, and that was just because I happened to know who, who had it. Um, so that was very easy to do, was just change the name. And then, but with Facebook, because we created a permanent link, 
that was facebook.com forward slash world affairs pgh there was no way to go in and change that i could change the way it's listed on the facebook account but since the name of the organization didn't actually change just sort of our social media presence we're kind of stuck with that one and it's rather unfortunate so that is something to take into account um, if you're setting up a facebook page for an organization or an event and like PodCamp Pittsburgh, you don't want to call it PodCamp Pittsburgh 6 because on the URL because next year it's not going to be relevant and yeah. you're not going to be able to change it. So, so that's a little more difficult. Yeah, that, that is a little bit more difficult, but there are ways to go around that. Yeah, like we were talking about, I mean, you can put a descriptive information there about, you know, visit us here. Yeah, this is our new information. So I mean, you, you can put something on your page that specifically says, even though this says this, we're this. Just linking that to a new page. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. 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 Right. yeah. And um, and I know like when we closed out groups, I remember how Facebook used to have groups and then they moved to the official pages. Yeah. That was tricky. We, we ended up sending a message to all of our Facebook group members and saying, look, we're not going to be using this group anymore. We need you to like our page. So every time something like that happens, it's, it's a, there's a transition period. It's or, a, a bit of a shift. Yes. So I've always been too busy to get involved with social media. <laughs> <laughs> of course. So when we got through G20, I, I got business went down. I signed up to Twitter and I tweeted maybe six to ten times. Mm -hmm. I've been back, you know. I'm afraid to go in and sign up in the day. What's the issue about ending up with multiple accounts and forgetting? Well, as far as multiple accounts are concerned, if, if you said that you set up around G20. I mean, if that's something that you're going to be using that account, that's fine. Go ahead and use it. Okay. Well, I mean, it depends entirely upon you and your needs for it. Myself, I have two Twitter accounts. I have my personal me Twitter account, and I have my business Twitter account. My husband has like ten Twitter accounts. <laughs> I have two. I have four. Wow. We have, we have multiple. Why, why do you have ten? Why does he have ten? He has. He has a few different online presences. He has his own personal Twitter account. Plus, he does uh, a couple of internet uh, web radio show type of things, uh -huh. uh, podcasting. Yeah. And for each podcast, he has a specific Twitter account because it's different people listening to each of those. So he has one for wrestlers. He has one for technology. <coughs> he has one for music. He has one for you know whatever the dog. We do have one for the dog. Um, so we have, he has different accounts uh, for depending on what he's doing. Now, some of them are kind of connected, and he will actually connect them when he tweets. So when he uses one of those Twitter clients we were talking about earlier, all he has to do is it comes across the top all of the Twitter accounts that he has connected to this program. And all he has to do is check mark them as to which ones he wants this tweet to go from. And when he does that, okay. those Twitter accounts will then all. They, they all come up in front of him so he can choose. Yep. Uh -huh. She's going to pull up on uh -huh. tweet deck right here. Uh -huh. uh, so she's going to show you. She has a tweet deck account. I don't. I, I'm a, I, just, I just use plain old. I'm a tweet deck. I, I, yeah. yeah. I just um, I set it up on my desktop. Um, I'm not going to log in or anything. But you can see that this is basically how it comes up um, in different columns. And you can set the columns. So I can have one. My personal Twitter account is Chick Chris. So I'll have one that's <laughs> my feed. I'll have one that's my mentions, my ads. I'll have one that's uh, direct messages, um, but then I also tweet for work at World of Pittsburgh. So I will I'll set up the World of Pittsburgh account. I'll set up the World of Pittsburgh mentions. I tweet for 85 Broad, so I'll set that up. If there's a certain list of people I'm following, and this this will scroll over. Wow. You can, yeah, you can do that all in one thing. You can set this up for LinkedIn, for Facebook, for Twitter, wow. all to be within this one. And it's all within the same program, so you don't have to have ten different web pages set up. Um, I know that. My husband right now is trying to talk me into something like this because of both of my Twitter accounts, and I actually tweet from the PCPGH account as well. So I, I essentially have three Twitter accounts that, instead of going to one and tweeting, going to the other and tweeting, and then going to the other and tweeting, because through the website, through Twitter.com, I have to log in and log out, log in and log out, and then log in and log out again. Um, I could just go ahead and do something like this. And this is on your Twitter account, or is this? This is tweetdeck.com. And tweet, tweet, T W E E T deck dot com. Yeah, tweet deck. So and that's then, kind of the um, umbrella, would you say? It's, that's, that's one of. I mean, there's yeah. other programs available. Uh -huh. um, tweet is another. 
Yeah. Who's sweet is another one. Is there a charge for this? No. Yeah. These are these are free. So they're separate from Twitter. Really? They're separate from Twitter, well, but they integrate Twitter. Doing that separate was the same. Hootsuite, H O O T S U I T E dot com. And this one is similar as well, and you can you can do different things. Um, <coughs> totally fine. Great. The best. Oh, sorry. The, the best way to, that I would suggest yeah. is just checking out a few of these mm -hmm. and seeing which ones work well for you. Because some people prefer like Tweet Deck over Tweet, for instance. There are other clients out there. So if you search, if you do just a basic Google search for mm -hmm. Twitter client. Or Bing. I'm using Bing more. <laughs> there you go. If, if you use the Bing search, I mean, just do a basic search for Twitter client or um, social media dashboard. Because that's, mm -hmm. that's what this is actually calling itself, a social media dashboard. Mm -hmm. It'll pull you up with some different programs, different things like that. Um, talk to people here at the conference. Because yeah. honestly, people use different things. Really and it's a good way for you to see how they like it. What do they like about it? Mm -hmm. Does it have a good interface that, that's easy to use? And you can tweet all your tweet accounts from there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. And you can actually, you can do it online or you can download it as like an application. Yeah, and this right here, account. this right here tells you, if you're, if you're sitting here, it connects you with contacts across Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, LinkedIn, Foursquare, Google, and Buzz, and, oh, and, and more. So, I mean, you so, have so you all can go to all of them from there. Exactly. Wow. Like on Facebook, would it have your various pages or just your main page? You can set it up for, for your various, various. Yep. Yeah, and then everything in your feed. Yeah, whatever you wanted to, to follow. Right. So in, instead of getting on the computer and saying, oh, I need to check Facebook and Twitter. Exactly. And yeah, right. and it's all right, right. there. It's one, all right in front of thing. It's kind yeah. of like saving. Does it have an Android app? You can, yes. I think yes, they do. They do. Yeah. A lot of them have been developing for both. So, I mean, that's the nice thing is that you do have for both. Because when I went to my... Uh, my account, they gave me Tweet Droid or something. Because mm -hmm. they said Twitter didn't have an Android version. Or is that true? Twitter might be. Hey, uh, yeah. they, 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 they were working on it. I don't know whether it's. It's out of the public. It is? Okay. Yeah, so if you, if you check now, it, you should be able to. Because offhand, I would say like to have a, 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 a Twitter account would be real important to have on your phone as opposed to your computer at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can see here desktop options, iPhone, Smart Android, Chrome, Web yeah. support. So. Yeah, so whatever whatever you're using, um, they, they should have it for. If not, I mean, there's developers are creating new stuff. Everybody. Pretty much, I mean, it, it seems like there's something new coming out all the time. Even uh, TweetDeck, you know, they've made advancements for different things specifically with their platform, so that that way they're available on a bigger variety of. Could your emails be on that? No. No. I don't that would be a whole nother level. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be something completely on itself. I had a question. I was uh, <clears throat> at a workshop and this lady was talking about, you know, she does social media with all these clients. And she says instead of a Facebook page, she has 10 different uh, profiles and she would send the customers to a different profile. What does she mean by that? Like, according to like what they um, did, I think she sent them to a different profile, which would give the the company in a whole different light. Uh, well, different you know what she meant by that? Five? It's like 10 different so resumes. She said, yeah. <laughs> so she's gearing each different page to like a certain to demographic. A different audience. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, it sounds like it's, it's just a page set up within and mm -hmm. she's specifically geared it toward, you know, whatever. Which I guess shortcuts some time for her and that way she can just specifically point people to whatever they're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, like, even as far as the like, podcast is concerned, I mean, we have sponsors, our business sponsors, we have VIPs, you know, so we have two different portions of information that we direct to them based on what, whatever level they're coming in at for different things. Could you talk a little bit about what your husband does with his uh, um, broadcasting? Just how how hard that is, or just a little bit about that? He has some sessions for really Yeah, they've... Uh, we have some sessions. Actually, the the video podcasting sessions yes. are scheduled for tomorrow, yeah. and we will be streaming. They're not hard. You can just do it from your house. Or yeah, your... Um, you can use as long as you have a video feed or an audio feed or, or both. So it's like YouTube on something. Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, it, it can be a little more complicated than that. But... Also, um, my husband has. My husband, if, if you walk into my basement, it looks like a recording studio to some degree. There's like 10 computers set up. There's a soundboard here. There's a soundboard here. 
There's a microphone over here. There's two microphones over there. And it's, wow. if I were ever asked to do anything with any of that, I would just be like, I can't see it. I have no idea. He's got it down to his complete science. Wow. One of the sessions that they're doing tomorrow, it, we'll actually cover audio podcasting. We also have a set of sessions covering video podcasting. Mm -hmm. And one of the cool things that they're doing is they're doing a live awesome cast, which is one of the video casts that, that they do. They're doing a live session of that tomorrow in the hub. So um, they kind of go into more specifically during those as to, as to how to do it and what they're doing. Did I see a hand to the left? No, I'm imagining things. It's just Oh, well, that's awesome. wonderful. You guys so live so much. This is a, a basic question about okay. Lincoln. Uh, I will get a, a, a an email saying that somebody a LinkedIn request a LinkedIn request saying, uh, you know, would you please accept? Um, that's what we were talking about with the connection. That's right. And but so I, so I click on accept, mm -hmm. and then it it takes me to LinkedIn, mm -hmm. and then it just says uh, you and so and so are con now connected. Okay. But then there's is that it? Is that all there is to it? Or I'm ready to form that initial connection. Yeah, that's that's it. You're you're then connected, mm -hmm. and kind of like Facebook, when you log into LinkedIn, you can see updates. And this is all of my updates. And you can see Carla's hanging out in the social media 201, taking notes for future instruction at work. Hi, Carla. <laughs> <laughs> so she, quite literally, she just put this as her active status for right over there. <laughs> um, you've also got, I can search it simply by my companies. So I've got PodCamp. It brings up Doug Derda. And he's talking about PodCamp Pittsburgh Six this weekend. So you know, he's talking about that. Um, There's no other acknowledgement beyond that one little statement at the top that says you're now connected. Not really. Um, you'll start to see them, like I said, in your timeline, you'll start to see them see. there. Yeah. Um, when you actually go to your contacts, My Connections, they'll be listed in your My Connections. And the My Connections, when you go there, you can either go alphabetically or you can go friends, colleagues, group members. You can search by companies, locations, industries. I mean, they really, I like their searchable interface because it's, I can narrow it down more specifically than I can a Facebook or a Twitter. Mm -hmm. And also more within a professional framework. Absolutely. Which is really significant. Yeah, and that's the nice thing is yeah. my company, you know, my company generally likes LinkedIn because it's more professional. Exactly. Versus a Facebook mm -hmm. or a Twitter. Um, because it's geared specifically to our business. Do you email through LinkedIn or do you have to go through your normal e email process? They have this nice little inbox, mm -hmm. which is kind of like uh, the Facebook mm -hmm. messaging system. Yes, right. um, so I can compose a message right and I can there. send it to you know whoever and I can go to my LinkedIn address book, mm -hmm. pick a connection and I can send them an email. Will it show up on your email, like Facebook? Um, it would show up in my inbox Yeah. Uh -huh. on here, just like Facebook would. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, let's see. Right, somebody else? I'll be the idiot here. Can you please explain to me the difference between Facebook and Twitter? Which is why I think I don't have a Twitter account. Okay, I don't, I don't understand it. Don't my friends are my friends when I explain Twitter. Twitter, the way that I explain it, it's social media for those with ADD. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had this conversation with Colleen at my cafe. <laughs> That's awesome. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm sold. <laughs> it's only 40 characters. It's That's instantaneous. I, I prefer Twitter over Facebook solely because I, I like Twitter. I'll, I'll be honest. Um, Twitter, I can get directly to my phone. I, I have a Twitter client on my phone that I can use that's much like the, the web page. I can also do it just text message. If I wanted to send a text message to somebody through Twitter, it's that easy. I don't have to go through the Facebook app. I don't have to go through this. I don't have to go through that. It's just a text message. The nice thing about it is, is that much like Facebook, it reaches everybody who's following me. Mm -hmm. My account is unlocked, so if somebody who's following somebody, like if I reply to one of Chris's messages, any of Chris's followers see that message, they then click on my on my link. They can pull me up. They can automatically follow me. 
say they like the conversation, but yeah, we're, we're having it. It's highly entertaining. Um, we're usually pretty, it's pretty dynamic. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you are. <laughs> We're having a fun conversation, and some of her followers are like, who is this rebellious squad that she keeps responding to? This is the most hilarious conversation I've ever seen. They pull up my feed, and then they can follow me. Likewise, my followers can then turn follow, follow Chris based on this conversation that we're having back and forth. Now, let me see if I get that. So basically, it's like text messaging, only a large... It's a large... Exactly. exactly. That's my yeah. question. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and, but, and it's also considered micro-vlogging in that... Like, Sometimes you're not in the middle of a conversation. You're just like, I'm eating grilled cheese, and just, and then everyone in the world is following because you're eating grilled cheese. Everybody that's following you gets that, like that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's similar, it's similar you to the Facebook stats. And you can tie the, the, both the minutes that we were talking about earlier on, using you know, Facebook or whatever. Then you can have them together, so you're not doing a status update on Twitter as well as a status update on Facebook. I specifically use Twitter for my friends. I use Facebook more for my family. So, I mean, that's, that's my question. So if, if you um, spell quick, I guess it's meditation. Um, if you go, if you, if you connect Facebook to Twitter and vice versa, or whatever. <laughs> but if it's, if it's you, whatever you post on your Facebook is longer than 140 characters, if you're not going to keep it on the Twitter. Right? Right. It includes like a link at the end, and then they click uh, back. Yeah, they click back. So uh, what does it do? It, it creates a link, okay. and then we put the link, but then it connects back to you. Okay. Um, but this does not. So when we talk about Twitter, it's very much an open conversation where people can see what's going back and forth. They do have the DM feature, which is kind of a private messaging, but you're still limited in your number of characters. And that doesn't apply to locked accounts. People can lock their accounts where only their friends, people right. they group can see it. Um, so if I have a locked account, which I usually do, I open it up for podcast, and I'm talking to Missy who is not, <clears> and you're following Missy, you're only going to see her half of the conversation. So it's going to look really it's good. Gonna look really good. <laughs> But then again, if you're looking at my part of the conversation, like I really, really, really need to know what's going on in my part of the conversation, you can then you can you can then click on her linked name and then follow request to follow her, and I'll let you. <laughs> <laughs> let me see if I get this. Yes. Um, wow. If if you send a text message, mm -hmm. you can only send it to everybody in your phone book. Is that correct? But if you send out a tweet on your cell phone. You can send this to anybody who's following you. I mean, it's just my, the difference is huge. Well, is that correct? Because we'll put this, we'll put this not, in the perspective. You have a whole bunch of followers. That one little message is going out to make a yeah, thousand people. That this, is, this is my personal Twitter account. Yeah. It says that I'm following 225 people, which right. means that those 225 people, mm -hmm. anything that they're talking about, I see their conversation. And they're going to get yours. The followers? Yeah. I have 350 people right. following me. So whenever I say anything, and I have on your phone, on your phone, and it's off of my phone, mm -hmm. that quick. Yep. Wow. And that's so different. And instead of having to send ten different messages, to exactly, that's different very people, different than a text it's, where you have yes. to, where you're really limited by your phone book. Here, you're, here it's going right to all your followers. Huge difference. Would you yes. agree? Yeah. And, and that's it's just one of those nice things about the social media aspects. Is some people like Twitter better than Facebook. Some people like Facebook better than like Twitter. We're not here to necessarily sell you on one or the other. We're here to help you figure them out and see which one you like yourself. <clears throat> question in the back corner. Um, yes. Yeah, my question actually has to do with Facebook. Okay. Um, for our business, we have um, our main business page, and then we also had two place pages. Mm -hmm. And the one we actually got to merge up with our, um, our main page, the other is kind of like a quasi place page. It has like the map pin and everything, but um, because we have so many likes on our page, we can't change our official name to like merge the two together. And we're kind of stuck in this weird place where we have like just a few people liking the page that they really shouldn't be liking, but we just can't merge them together. Do you have any answers as to how to do that or advice as to what to do? Chris, Chris was kind of talking about that a little bit earlier. Okay. And I struggle with the places feature. Yes. Yeah, like the one we matched the addresses up and, and we were able to merge them together and it worked out fine. The other one's not a true place page, but it's not a true business page either. The nice the nice thing that I've noticed about Facebook is if it's something that I don't know, which that unfortunately I'm sorry, I can't answer that question. I have no idea. I don't think I can really. There's people here who might actually have additional information. Okay. It's, it's just one of those things that, you know, if you find yourself in a conversation with somebody, type of thing. Or keep asking it in sessions. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. um, the other nice thing about it is, yeah. is that <laughs> I know that I myself have had some questions that I have directed to, like, they have um, 
through Facebook, they have, much like any other website, ask this question. Right. And if I can't find the question in there, I've been able to contact them, contact them and, okay, I, I'm an idiot, I don't know how to do this. Right, yeah. And they have been very helpful for me in the past. Okay. So, I mean, that worst case scenario, just go that route. Yeah, go that just, route. I know it just takes a little bit longer to do it that way, but. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry that I, I can't answer oh, that. Oh, that's okay. I really do feel bad about it. I mean, that's one of the nice things about podcast. I'm not afraid to admit that, yeah, I, that, I don't know that. The question has been posted. I just, I just posted the hashtag. Oh, you wrong. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is the other nice thing about podcast. <laughs> <laughs> things happen. It's a non-line. We'll see if anybody answers. And you can make Carla a lot or so maybe repeat it too. <clears throat> so see? So there's a Twitter one-on-one question. So I just signed up and just have an account mm -hmm. and you did a quick search for people in my mm -hmm. So there's two friends in the business. I posted a Twitter and it says I'm a podcast mm -hmm. in business. I sent it out, will the business then get that? Will that show up to all the people that follow this coffee shop as well as my other two friends or so it's just the three people. Are you the they, coffee shop is following you? <laughs> yeah. So okay. most people following me, they won't get this. Right. Only the people that follow you unless one of your followers is like, and then shares it with, yeah. mm -hmm. with their people. It's called a yeah. tweet. And the nice thing about if if you if you're tweeting something about being here at Pot Camp, if you use the hashtag, which is pound sign, PG, or PTPGH6, which is what we're titling all of our, our content, mm -hmm. it then goes to, hey, Chris, it then goes to a main search feature under Twitter that you can pull up all of the comments for the PCPGH. So we're gonna try that. Oh, I just oh, picked that. No, I'm talking to the tea, actually. <laughs> oh. Hi. Anyway, anyway. Sure. <laughs> So these are these are all of the Twitter these are all the tweets that are mentioning hashtag PCPGH6. So this is all the conversation that's going on. People are marking that they're having conversations about what we're doing here for this event. So I don't see anything anymore with the hashtag in front of the that's a tweet Twitter account. Yes. I was unaware of this. <laughs> the, hashtag, the hashtag is more specifically a group a this conversation. Um, so if I want to have a conversation about the Jersey Shore, I do hashtag, hashtag Jersey Shore, I can search that and see what we're talking about the Jersey Shore. Oh, or hashtag t-shirt time. Um, there we go. Just maybe if if you get more involved in the social media, a lot of businesses, groups have chats at a set time every single day of the week. Mm -hmm. And their hashtag, and hashtag is the way they And so like, like there's a job hunt chat that's on Tuesday or Wednesday nights, I can't remember. So at a certain time, you can, you know, you can use Twitter follow or something, and if you wanna, if you're searching for a job, or you just wanna see what everybody out there is saying, you search that one hashtag, and you mm -hmm. can participate in this conversation. And that's another really great way to meet people and interact too, like if you're interested in fitness, business, finances, you can search hashtags and find oh, out if they have these weekly, weekly chats I know Emily has a healthy for life mm -hmm. chat. Yeah, there's I have some journalist friends who I think like every Monday night participate in hashtag journal chat. Mm -hmm. So it's like all the journalists, even if you're not following one another and you have a public account. So even if you're not following everyone who's here at podcast, sorry, I have the hashtag there, but there's a giant to me with. Even if you're not following the podcast, or if you're not following people who are using the podcast hashtag, you can still see their tweets all together. And you can still see the comment based on. What does it look like? A hashtag? Is that a yeah, point? it's a pound sign. Oh, just a pound sign. Yep. So that's it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So whenever you hear anybody talk about a hashtag, especially in relevance to. So you put in a pound sign, like this person, one would say, mm -hmm. put in the, hat, the pound sign and a thing, and that would get yeah. you all of And it could be on any time. All right. If, if, I, well, if I want to do. Let's say wellness. Okay. Hashtag wellness. Right. This is pulling through. These are all the tweets then that, that mention Wallace. Wow. Wow. How many millions are there? Oh my God. It's, there's more than likely quite a few of these. Yeah. I mean, it scrolls all the way down to the bottom of the page. Could and you, how many words did you use going. to define it? Can I use two words or three? Or uh, if you do two words, um, all right, we'll, we'll do Wellness for Life. You have to put it all together as one word, as one, as word, one word in order for it to recognize the, right. the hashtag. Right. This has no results for Wellness yeah. for Life. Right. Um, <laughs> There's a fifth law 
There's a hashtag tip blog. Okay. Because I, I say people I follow. I do that. <laughs> okay. So the, there we go. You have to put the words, but you have to put them together because if you put that separation in there, it's only going to search the the hashtag to, fit. To the, to the space. Yeah. So it's it, that's all it does. It, that's what it recognizes. And the important thing when picking a hashtag, wellness for life may not be used because it's so long. Because remember, you're limited to 140 characters. Right. Yeah. So, and that's the hashtags are included in that. So Which is one of the other reasons as to why ours is piece of PGH versus podcast. Uh -huh. So just, so it doesn't use as many characters. Same when picking a Twitter name too. I wanted to make mine Christina Murray younger, but that is like 35 <laughs> letters. So that's like half of your lot, but it's anyway. So I know exactly. So <laughs> anytime <laughs> they would have to use up all those characters, I'm going to get the phone word replies. Um, so I wanted to change Chris. And say, sure. um, so yeah. just like something in essence, though, it's like Twitter has kind of replaced the old-fashioned um, computer chat room that they have because now you can just kind of chat on Twitter kind of. Right, yeah. yeah. It is much better. Um, yeah, much faster. Right. Absolutely. And the nice thing is that instead of just directing the chat to this few people, if I put something out there, right, we, we put out that we're looking for information on, on the, the one question, and it was retweeted. So in addition to my followers seeing it, whoever retweets me, all of their followers in turn see it. If somebody else retweets it from there, it just kind of exponentially spreads as to how many people are seeing this. So you get more of an opportunity for exposure from starters, as your question, as well as an opportunity to find somebody who might actually get an answer. What in the answer? Does it have to go back to that whole line? Because of the app, when they reply, um, if you reply to something, It'll pull up. Chris and I are having a conversation. Mm -hmm. I respond. Yeah, I at Chick Chris. Hi, how are you? She responds. Hi, at Belly Slaw. I'm doing great. If she wants to forward that along to somebody else, and somebody else will belong in the conversation, as long as they use the at Chick Chris and at Belly Slaw, the two of us will then see the conversation. So even though you forward me a message asking about something. I forward it on to my followers. Right. If they hit reply, and as long as your account isn't blocked, they will be able to reply directly to you. Is so just by using your app, whatever. Is everybody anonymous on Twitter? With, or you actually, you ever know who the person is? Oh, oh yeah. Um, oh, no. Trick Chris. Um, well, no, this right, it's, it's not my real name, but a lot it's, of it's a nickname. But this right here, I am Creative Soul, Aaron Medor. Gotcha. So you can see the so name. That's just so you do both. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I mean, if you want you to remain on him, it's anonymous. Yeah. So it's right by your thing. Yeah, it mm -hmm. comes up right next to the name. This is actual Twitter.com. This is the Twitter website. Mm -hmm. um, so that comes up. And that's the advantage of using something small. Exactly. <laughs> that's when you set up your profile and you do that. Yes. And it pulls based on that information. So again, if I'm searching for Erin Medor, I can search for Erin Medor and be able to find her. You could do both. Yes. Either one. Yes, mm -hmm. as long as you know. Because, like, running to prize just says Megan. If I do a search for Megan, I'm going to get 40 bazillion different people. Yeah, but Chris, uh, whatever your name is, that has to be unique. Right, exactly. Yeah, everyone does have yeah. a unique Everyone has a unique right. Twitter ID, and it can't duplicate. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Pretty unique. Yeah. We are nearing the end of the other. A Facebook question. Uh, okay. I've tried this for three years. Uh, is there a way to talk to all your friends? Yeah, Facebook watches them all. Well, yeah, yeah but, but they, have to they don't let like you send like a message to everyone. No, it's, it's not. It's to prevent spamming. Basically, yeah. they don't want you. I know, but on, but on Twitter, that's it's, that's what Twitter is. That's food, right? that is how, that is Twitter. Yeah. See, that's a huge distinction right there. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other questions for us? So you can spam like crazy on Twitter, mm -hmm. and it's not even called spam. There are spammers on Twitter. Yeah, there are spammers. How would that be? How would that look? Do <laughs> 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 you have any like yeah. spam wallet yeah. yeah. that yeah. you can yeah. put on yeah. Twitter? Yeah. What would be a spam on Twitter? Spammers on Twitter, you'll get people who randomly follow you, and you'll click on their name, and you'll realize that they are following 600 people, but nobody's following them, and they've tweeted like three times, but 
they're only tweeting about free iPads. Yeah, that's the other thing. Is yeah. that they'll use or they send you web links to Exactly. Pictures. No, are they have well, questionable no. picture no. profiles. Yeah. They have like, what you say? They have questionable picture profiles. Ah, so it's right. like scantily clad. Scantily clad, like, yeah. I'm about to see three arms or something. Yeah. yeah. Let's see, I just have them. Let's have it. I love that you're like, oh, I'm going to find this. I, well, because I am typically sent to private, so I don't really have a problem with spam accounts as much. Um, maybe I could. I don't think I could delete it. For some reason, I was having trouble with it. Oh, I think she's gone, my spammer. I'm sorry, y'all. Yes. Um, a different question. Okay. Um, Sometimes I get a, uh, a request uh, to like something yes. or somebody or a company or something. Yes. But I, if I like them, what what am I doing? Well, what's happening with businesses on Facebook? Yeah. Um, pretty much, you're becoming a. It's their. You can communicate their, to them. Their updates will show up in your feed yeah, right. on your news feed on the main page. Are other people seeing that I like them? Yes. yes. That's on your profile. They yeah. can see that if they click on your profile, sometimes it'll show up. Um, also, you can just like on target wall. on Facebook, um, things like that. That's what you do so you, you want to be a little bit selective? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You don't want to like anything too scandalous. Oh, exactly. No, and, and you want to be... Yeah. You would really want to like it. Yeah. You can also send them a message easier. Plus, then you can talk on their wall. As soon as you become a friend, yeah. you can talk on their wall. It's to their advantage for me to like that. Yeah, yeah. and it's probably <laughs> businesses use that quite a bit because that's how they go interest <clears throat> for, for their businesses. <laughs> Uh, real quick, because um, we're wrapping up here. Any, anything else that anybody has any questions on? Thank you. Go ahead. Well, come to your restaurant. Well, if anybody <laughs> has any questions, <laughs> I'm going to be around most of the weekends. If you see me, stop me and ask me a question. Mm -hmm. This was the last session that I'm actually doing, so absolutely, I'd love to have a conversation with this I'm not that smart enough to bring them. <laughs> 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 you have to be. You, you think that this many podcasts under my belt, I would learn to bring business cards in. <laughs> but yeah, um, my name's Missy, um, at Rebellious Swan, where my account's open, you can follow me. What is it in there? Rebellious Swan. Rebellious Swan. Rebellious Swan. Yeah. Like, it's something wrong with me. Is it, is it, I cannot rebel correctly. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think I thought it was like, something wrong with being rebellious. Yes, I, I can never rebel, but whenever it way, it comes out, yeah, not good. Hey! Look at me! How did that get up there? <laughs> I have no idea. They make amazing baked goods and that's everything else. Awesome. Yes. Oh. The chocolate chip muffins are the best patterns. And if you ever pop in and have questions about um, social media, oh, yeah. they are my, are usually it's usually pretty nice it's about like um, it's, your cat number, it's about them. It's about My God, you need a card reader. <laughs> uh, square. Wow, that's interesting. Yep. Does she have a nice, uh, that's her feel. Oh. Well, if that's it, uh, I think it's lunchtime. Lunchtime has been one